Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to work on a new project. So I have a tomato plant here in the grow tent that has been going for a while. It produced so many fruits and I've been enjoying tomatoes for a while now. And it is time for the tent to be used for something else. So I decided that I'm going to uh, take this out and possibly just cut it off and trash it. But uh, people suggested that I should keep the plant and just put it outside and let it grow. So today we are going to do exactly that. I'm going to take the plant out of the tent here and then we're going to trim it down um, all the way down to probably just a few inches left and then let the plant start over. Uh, what you can do with the, the extra branches here before you cut it down is uh, propagate it if you need to. And I have already done that. Here we go. You see? I took a cutting here, just a branch, make sure it's straight because it's easier to put in the bottle. And then in a few uh, days or maybe a week, it will sprout roots and uh, you will have a new tomato plant. And you can plant this in another hydroponic system or in soil. So uh, cloning tomato or propagating tomato is very easy. Guarantee 100% success rate. I do this very often and I never fail. <laughs> so it, it's that simple. Just put it in water under grow light or, or outside on the patio where it gets a good amount of light and it will sprout roots very fast. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the plant out of here and we're going to cut it back. Okay, here is the plant and you can see it is a very big plant and I still have lots and lots of fruits left that I need to pick. So uh, we're going to trim probably all the way back here and then let the plant start over. So it's, it's probably bigger than my ground tomato right there. So I have my compost bin there. So what we're gonna cut off, we're gonna throw in there. So let's go ahead and begin. Okay, look at that. I cut basically everything off. And uh, this is how much we're gonna have of it left. And uh, we're gonna fill this up with nutrients and you see the air tube since I'm gonna leave this outside I'm gonna run some solar power air pump into this. So uh, Let me go ahead and pick off the fruits and then compost the rest and then we'll start on these <laughs> Okay, we are ready to begin the next process and here are all the tomatoes that I just harvested These things are amazing guys. They're so sweet and delicious so I really love this variety. So I guess it is a good thing we're going to save this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to clean off everything that's in there. See how dirty the water is. And then we're going to uh, add new nutrients. And then uh, plug the pump up and let it run. And then keep track of the plant throughout the months and see how well it does. All right, everything is now nice and clean now. Look at that, we trimmed off some roots as well. You can because the plant is uh, basically bare, so uh, it's a good idea to trim some of the dead roots back. Uh, it's still gonna be okay. So now we're going to add nutrients. And all I have right now is this, so this is what we're gonna use, five milliliter per gallon. So this is a five gallon. And so uh, that means 25 milliliters. So adding the nutrients first is a good idea because now you can mix it in with the water. Okay, the nutrients is filled. And so here's my air pump. It does have a little bit of a charge left. The sun is out right now, but uh, it's still going to run for a little bit, so let's plug it in. You see, there's some bubbles going on right here. 
So you're gonna put this in a sunny spot, um, give it a little bit of the afternoon shade for now until you put it into full sun after a few days. But it should be fine in full sun because there's really no leaves at all. But the, the, the pump does need some sun to run. So uh, there you have it guys, we'll check back soon. I'm gonna close it like this. And the plant is bare right now, so uh, in the next update, you're going to see some progress. Okay, it has been exactly six days now, and the plant is recovering very nicely. Look at these new growth already, and there are already flowers. Because this is a mature plant, so once they uh, grow back, the flowers come out very quick so it's gonna get fruits very very soon so today we are going to put this in a sunny spot and uh, a permanent home so I'm going to uh, move this uh, to a, a different spot so I'll show you where it goes <laughs> okay here we are it is going to sit right next to my herb raised bed and this area get a lot of Sun all the way down to uh, around 6 p.m. and then it'll get the afternoon shade which is perfect for these tomato plants so uh, there we are um, we're going to check back once there's more progress and uh, see how the plants would do okay it has been 17 days now and the tomato plant is looking beautiful uh, it started to grow quite a bit in the short amount of time and uh, also because it's growing so much it's also starting to drink a lot of nutrients so right now i think i'm down to half of the container and look at these guys these are all new roots the new roots have grown and because there's lots and lots of new growth uh, on the roots area uh, they're going to start to grow very fast on the top area right here so uh, tomato plants are very very tough you can just trim it back cut off the roots and um, and they would just grow right back that's how easy they are to grow so uh, uh, if you haven't done this before uh, it's very easy to do uh, you can take plants from inside to outside uh, trim it back a little bit just to help the plants recover and also because these are new shoots they get established and adjusted to the Sun better than the old um, uh, the old leaves that were already used to the inside conditions so uh, you can refill the bucket if you want just add some nutrients It's five milliliter per gallon of water that's usually what i do and i just leave it here the the sun will um, get this unit to work and that's just it so uh, i hope you enjoy the experiment try it out for yourself it's very very easy tomato plant they will live through basically everything thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe